What is good, YouTuber? It's your boy, Guess Who? Mondo 1X, and guess what? I am back with another one! I'm taking trips, floating through the sky Like I'm Marty McFly Going back to the year 89 Back when show was fine The last message she sent wasn't mine Yeah, she just wasted time She ended up pregnant, started lying Yes, yeah, trying to say it was mine And today, I got a story time for y'all. I got another story time for y'all, and I guarantee you it's gonna be something worth to hear. I'm gonna be telling y'all about the first time I got caught with weed in school. But your boy was a finesse kid back in the day, so you know I finesse the situation. Although I still got caught, I was the one that unfortunately had the weed on me. But let's go ahead and get straight into before we get into that. You already know what to do. Show some love by liking, comment, subscribing, because we got more content coming soon and make sure you click that bell too because you don't want to miss out before we even get into it like i said don't mind my shirt this is a freddy shirt i used to wear here freddy's in 2019 i'm just chilling today i just got finished working out so i ain't gonna wear no good shirt just threw this on so don't judge my shirt you know just look at the jacket <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and get straight into it so how did this happen how did i get caught with weed because i was a finesse kid where's my book bag at <laughs> I don't know my foot bag yet. So I had it cut in my book bag. I made this cut because I, I seen a video on it. Give me one second, I'm gonna go find my book bag. I seen a video where if you like, all right, so look, you flip this inside out and you cut along the tip, like right here. This and this will open up. You can slot things in there and everything. That's how, that's what I did. But where I messed up at, I had a medicine bottle. But let's get to the start of the story. How did I even get caught in the first place? Me and this girl was planning to skip third block. So, you know, just us two was gonna go up the hill at my high school and smoke. That's where our smoke spot was, up the hill where you got, you know, people just come scoop you. So, we up the hill, we, going up, we about to go up the hill. And then we run into these two other dudes that we both were mutually cool with. So we like, all right, so, you know, y'all got weed, we got weed, let's get hyped and go back, you know, to lunch and eat and then, you know, just enjoy the rest of the day like a, you know, a high school student would averagely do. We came up with the plan and we went through with it. We all went up the hill and smoked. Now the flaw was how we came back to campus. So the girl, right when we first smoking, she done bailed, you know, she gone. Me and the two dudes, matter of fact, we wouldn't even finish smoking. Like, I probably said we had like a clip love, and she she already knew, like, all right, I'm gonna go. So she was good, because she, she went back by herself. Whenever you move by yourself in high school, like, you're skipping this love, you're not as hot. You know, they just looking at you like, oh, she might be running late to school, or situations like that. But now when you come in deep, that's when they kind of look at you like, what was y'all doing? What was y'all at? Was y'all here? Or I think I seen y'all earlier today. You know, it gives people, it brings attention to yourself pretty much when you're with people, especially people that are kind of known by administration because of what they do. Because I didn't really never get in trouble in school like that. Two dudes that I was with, they actually kind of had like history with you know, administration. So we was coming down the hill and I guess they seen us on camera. What did that made it even worse was we went through the front doors right by the front office. So like I said, you know, I had a medicine bottle and I had my um, weed in the book bag. It was in the cut and everything. So we walk in, and it was an administrator sitting right there. She's like, y'all all going to office. I was like, nah, I gotta go take the test. She was like, no, you're not taking that test today. I think this was like the final, uh, the week of the finals. She was like, nah, you're not taking that test today. I was like, come on, the teachers count on me to be there. Nah, you going in the office. So they kind of forced me to go in the office. And the two other dudes too. They already knew what time it was though. So we, we go in the office. Tell me why. She was like, alright, y'all about to get searched. I'm like, for what? Y'all came from off campus. Y'all gotta get searched. I'm like, alright. I mean, I'm still taking this test today. Because I just knew that, you know, they wasn't going to find none on me because I had my stuff in the cut. So I'm like, you know what, y'all going to search me all day and all night. Y'all ain't going to find nothing. So they take us in this little room, they, uh, search each of us. They make us take our shoes off. They search our, they went through our soles and everything, on the shoes and everything. Going through our book bags, our jackets. Like, they was really searching us. I didn't think it was going to go this deep. We didn't search, and they didn't find nothing from me. neither one of us. All the only reason why they found something from me was because the security guard, when he finished searching my stuff, 
he had he had dropped the book back just like this. It was like he heard that little click. It was, it was pretty loud. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, because like I said, it was in the pill box. He was like, there's something in there that I didn't get to see. So then that's when he picked the bag up and he was like, you know, squeezing on the bag. He was like, oh, I feel something here. That's when you know he was like just like feeling around. He was like, how? He was like, how? How is there something in here? But I girl had to get it out. Eventually, he kept you know playing with the bag. He was not gonna let it go. It was nothing I could do about it. He was not gonna let it go. So eventually, he found it. And then the moment he found it, it just like you know you already in trouble. It's like what can I even say to defend myself? I can try to blame it on anybody. Why would I do that if it's in my possession? So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna sit there. I'm just sitting there just chilling. Administration keep asking me like, what do you have to say for yourself? I'm like, it ain't nothing I can say. You know, only thing I can do is take my consequences. So then that's when they like, oh well, dude, then we could just tell you, you're not a bad student. It was like, and it's about to be final, so we don't want to give you too many days. Now keep in mind, if this was the average person, they would have got expelled, had at least at least ten days at the least. Normally, probably even more. Or you know, they would have had something. You know, they would have had something. Or they would have been sent to alternative school. Now with me, he was like, you know what? I'ma just give you five days since you don't seem like you don't seem like you're a bad guy. It's just my it's just not the right time for you, you know. You just was caught in the wrong place, wrong time, you know. So I'm like, alright, well I guess I just take the five days. So then after that, it was they just started talking even more. He was like, you know what, it's about to be finals. He he ain't he ain't a bad guy. So you know what? It was like, we're gonna give you just three days. We just gonna give you three days because your final's coming up and we understand that, you know, mistakes happen. And I'm like, yeah, mistakes is what happen. So then that's when it was like, well, what we do want you to do is go to Right Boost for Youth. I'm like, I'm not doing that. And I didn't do that. I'm like, it ain't that deep. I just got caught, you know, skipping and y'all unfortunately caught some weed on me. So I didn't do that. But I was like, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. Never did it. <laughs> So, and then what's crazy is my parents actually did not find out. It was giving phone call homes, and they didn't have my parents' numbers in the system. They only had their old numbers, but they had my mom and friend number, and they called my mom and friend, but she didn't answer. And my mom and friend called me and was like, "I got a call from school. Was for something bad or for something good?" I was like. Well, I mean, it's the week of the finals, so that's probably just trying to get in touch with my parents, you know, let them know that we will be taking finals this week, so she didn't check her voicemail. So I got off the hook with that whole situation. But the only reason why I got caught up with my parents is because it was the second time that I decided to leave campus. And that second time, I left with hotter people, people that was worse than the first group of people I was with. And they seen all of this on the camera, and then that's when they called my mom and friend again. And it was like, oh, you know, we've seen our mom leaving on campus. And they actually got a hold of her this time. It was like, we've seen our mom leaving on campus. And I don't know if you know about the first time he got spent, but he got spent for having a uh, possession of marijuana. Then that's when everything just clicked. I remember waking up that next morning about it, because I was going to go still go to school, although I was suspended. And, you know, pretty much try to, like, get a ride and just go skip and smoke all day. But when I was about to leave the house, I got ready and everything. Like, you know, I just finished getting ready for school. Like, I'm about to go hop on the bus. My dad was like, where you going? I'm about to walk out the door. He was like, where you going? I was like, I'm going to go to school. He was like, no, you're not. I was like, what do you mean? He was like, you spending. I was like, what? He was like, don't play stupid with me. You know you spend it. I'm like, nah. He was like, no, you are spending. I was like, what? So then he hit me with that. He hit me with that. Is that something you want to tell me? <laughs> that killed me. Cause it's like you know you want to lie, but it's just like he already kind of know the truth. So it's like, what do I do? Tell the truth. Unfortunately, so I'm like, that's not tell the truth. I kind of you know add some little lies, and I was like. I was like, you know what? I was like, we went to Boulder Jangles. We was all just skipping to go get some lunch real quick. And I guess when I was in the uh, store, somebody, you know, slid some weed in my bag. Cause my parents didn't know me for smoking. I didn't want them to know me for smoking at the time either. Cause I just turned 16. So I was like, um, I was like, yeah, we went to Boulder Jangles. Somebody slid some weed in the bag. And that's when I was like, yeah, see, look, you always hang with bad influences. You always hang with people that you don't need to be around. You know, just bashing me. 
But I'm just taking it because I'm like, as long as y'all don't think that I was smoking, I'm good. So then that's my dad concluded the, the conversation. He was like, look, you go back in your room, you lay down. I want you to think about what you did. So then my dad eventually went to work and he called me while he was at work. This phone call right here tripped me out. This man was so serious, but he was doing it so calm. That's what, that's what kind of made it crazy. It's just like, yo. So, he was like, son? He was like, you know I'm mad at what you did, right? Like, yeah. He was like, you know, if I ever hear about anything like that again, what I'm going to do to you, right? I was like, no. He was like, well, if I ever hear about any of that happening again, like, you get called skipping school or, you know, with weed or not, anything like that. He was like, you know what, son? I'm gonna flip your ass. Yeah, it's gonna be out of love. And he said, so calm. It just like, cause my dad, he kind of, he, he's a lot of person. So it's like, man, you really meant that. So that's calm. So then that's when, you know, after that, things kind of like started getting better. You know, it, it took days, but things started getting better. And I ain't gonna lie, that was a terrible experience. Sitting in the fact that I was a finesse kid, like. I got caught skipping plenty of times. I know how to talk my way out of situations where I don't have to talk my way out of situations. They can read the vibes from me. Uh, security guard, the first time I got caught skipping, security guard, he had searched us. I had I had that same pill bottle, but the thing is I didn't have nothing in it. It was just like a little shake. He's seen it, but while he was doing it, because the minister was right there, he like whispered to me. He was like, get rid of the bottle. And then he, he didn't do nothing, you know? So, I don't know, I was just, I guess because, you know, like I said, people could read my vibes, it was like messing with me and stuff. But yeah, that was my, that was the story of me getting caught with weed.